Hey guys, good afternoon. So I am here with um, a new unboxing. It is, hi, back to class. It is the Witch's Moon unboxing. So if you watched my video yesterday, um, I did Hag Swag, which came like this. Um, so um, if you, uh, you know, weren't out of the broom closet, you know, people would clearly see that it was a, a box pertaining for like witches. Um, with Witch's Moon, um, this is actually what it comes in. It's very discreet. Um, like you have to really look close. Um, and even when you look close, it says, I believe it's like W Moon, which can mean anything, right? So it's very discreet. So if you are in the broom closet, um, no worries. It's very discreet. It's a box within a box. Um, I didn't look through it yet. I just took it out of the outer box. So that way, you know, we were ready. So this is the box and I love all the sigils here, as you see in the full moon. It's got all the sigils here, all the sigils. Um, it, um, I believe I mentioned it in one of my earlier videos. I think it actually might've been my very first video for, um, the witch's moon. It took me a long time to get the, on the subscription list for this box. Um, with the coronavirus and stuff like that, um, they weren't taking any, um, international, um, or, uh, Canadian subscriptions. Um, because they were, I guess, behind a bit in their boxes. So they didn't want to take on um, another loan. Um, if you hear my little ones talking in the background, I apologize. They're in the middle of school right now. My kids are homeschool. They're at home um, doing um, virtual schooling. So there's all their schooling is online. Um, as I have three high risk of my home, so it's bad enough that I leave to go to work. Um, I work five days a week, 40 hours a, 40 hours a week. Um, I'm just home today. Um, just, you know, some womanly issues. So, um, yeah, so the virus, um, they weren't taking on any more subscriptions. So they, it was months and months, 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 months. Um, I was on like a, a waiting list, like an email waiting list. So as soon as they freed up and they were taking more subscriptions, they would send me an email to let me know like, hey, listen, you know, we're now taking new subscribers. Um, so I believe it was like November is when, um, they sent me the email and like literally as soon as they sent me the email, um, I was actually, I was on my break <laughs> at work and, uh, they said, I checked my email as I always do, just, you know, communication with the kids school and like their schools and stuff. And, um, I noticed that I was there, so I, like, immediately, because I know that they sell out extremely fast. Just from other um, beautiful uh, ladies that I follow um, on YouTube, it, it's hard to to get in, because um, they, they sell out so quick. So, as soon as I opened the email and I saw what it was, like, I clicked the link, and got it done, signed up. So I received my first box in December. Um, and then January, so this is my third box now, which is uh, February, 2021. So I'm excited. I have no idea what the theme is. So let's get to it. I have my hot water ready because we always get a tea in here. And I got my honey here. So 
we're good. So without further ado, The Witch's Moon for February. So this is what it looks like when you open it. Yep, as I dump everything on the floor, it's fine. It's fine. Now I gotta practice some yoga here to grab everything. Okay. There we go. So I can get a little room. All righty. So we always get our oracle card. Back to class, Sydney. Sydney. Class. Great. I won't ask again. Thank you. We always get either a tarot or an oracle card. So let's check that out. So this is your cheat sheet and they always give you an extra piece of parchment uh, for you to write out, um, you know, your own spells or, you know, something for your book of shadows, whatever you want to use it for. You use it for but they always give you an extra um blank shade of parchments paper which i really do appreciate so the theme is bound by soil so that's the theme there guys <clears throat> so i'll just read this little tin bit and then we're going to close it because this is the cheat sheet okay i like to be surprised so if you listen closely, you may just hear the whispering and wandering of spirits that inhabit nature around you. In this exclusive collection, we pause and ponder, providing ourselves with the time necessary to connect with all of the nature, all of the natural elements that surround our practices. It is during this time that we are free <clears throat> to ask questions to guides, create relationships with elementals, or call upon the hidden wisdom that resonates within all living things. Through this beautiful season of growth and creation, we delve into the deepest and most authentic roots of our craft, bound by soil and enhanced by magical intent. It is important to always remember that your path is sacred to your individual self. We recommend taking the time to connect with the items in this box and use them in a way that feels correct to you. Every practitioner resonates with different ideals and ways of performing ritual. We do not take this work lightly and strive to provide the highest quality ritual items for you to use. Be sure to clear your space and cast your circle of protection before performing any type of ritual. The magical items in this box are as follows. And then it, it lists what's in the box. You know, this is so true. Um, I obviously frequent YouTube quite a bit and I like to watch um, different unboxings, you know, and stuff like that, just to kind of get an idea of like, how I kind of want to do unboxings and things I'll be like oh man you know like I really wish they would have showed this more or, you know whatever like um nobody's perfect everybody does it their own way and I remember I was watching this one lady um I was actually it, I was watching a uh, tarot card uh review and this one lady was talking and you know she was just talking about because somebody made a um very rude comment on her on her page um and it, it was something to do with her tarot cards i guess maybe her interpretation for it i didn't quite read exactly what it was i'll get it for him in a minute i'm filming thank you and uh, my apologies. My husband is asking for incense. Everybody shops at my incense store, apparently. So, 
So, um, it's the same thing with tarot cards. You know, yes, the, there's no right or wrong way. It's how you interpret the cards. You know, yes, you have like, I don't want to say the generic meaning, but like, you know, like the, the meaning of the card, you know, but at the same time, you put your own interpretations into the card, you know, um, you know, we, yes, we know what each card generally means, generally speaking. Um, but we also, as tarot readers, we put our own intuition and our own, um, interpretation of the cards in them. And I still consider myself um, quite a novice when it comes to tarot cards. I'm still learning. Um, I've only been doing tarot for a year. And I, I've i done a few readings for a few people. But um, I do have a very, very close friend of mine that I ask, you know, hey, this is my interpretation of the reading. Is it right? And um, I'm always on point. And then when I deliver my reading, because obviously it's uh, not in person, it's online. I, uh, you know, tell them, you know, what the reading is and, and my interpretation of it. And I always tell them, you take what um, resonates with you from the reading. And I've always been on point with my readings. I, I've I've never, knock on wood, <laughs> been wrong, so to speak. I've always been very accurate with my reading. Um, my intuition is, is extremely, extremely strong. Sometimes it's too strong. So, you know, with witchcraft, um, it's you follow your path. You do what feels right to you. You know, what feels right to you may not feel right to the next person, but it doesn't mean for you to tell that person, oh, you're doing it wrong. They're, they're not doing it wrong. They're doing it how they feel it feels right for them. They're following their intuition and, and you know, their own magic. Like, everybody's magic's different. Like, it's, we all just need to be together and work together and encourage encourage each other on the sacred path and encourage each other, you know, encourage our magic and together just, you know, as a group. So, all right, my rent's over. We still have a witch casket coming. On, on videotape, I'm almost done. We have a few. I have just one more hour and a half minutes. Okay, go. Do not do the unboxing. I'm, I'm already videotaping, dude. You have to stop videotaping. <laughs> you can come back up and then I'll do a little video blurb of you going through the box. Sounds good? I was very excited. And really wanted to open this box because I've been waiting and waiting and waiting. And because I'm in Canada, I swear to God, I'm like the last person probably to get their box. So I really wanted to do the video and see the box. My son's a little upset because I didn't wait for him, but he's in school all day. And I I would just really want to open the box. So I'll do a little video of him just by himself. I mean, obviously, I'll be in the video, but of him looking at the box and his reactions, if he wants. So, okay, without further ado, my apologies for the rant, guys. I do tend to rant a lot. Um, you'll notice that. I like to speak my mind of how I see things. So, it is what it is. It's just who I am. So, all righty then. I like it comes tied in nice little twine so it looks like an oracle card so that's the back of the card guys and fairy circles I see magic everywhere I look deeper for a solution I am open to transforming myself curiosity is valuable to me I really like this 
this is really pretty i apologize about the light guys so that's the oracle card all right so it looks like we have a candle spell here all right the sacred soil bound by soil <clears throat> united by breath as i walk the hidden path i offer my respect upon the sacred soil i stand connected and calm I stand listening and lucid. Hum illuminate no unwavering. Ooh, Lord have mercy. See, here we go again. Unwavering and strong. Great guardian and giver. I ask for your lead. I ask for your patience. Found within the tumbling leaves. May I hear your whispers. May I hear your song. May I receive the signs from the flowers and frogs. Bound by soil, united by breath. As I walk the hidden path, I offer my respect. So mote it be. I really love this. So it looks like we get one of these in every box because... Uh, we got one, I'm pretty sure we got one last month. I know we got one for December for sure because it went with um, the cat statue, the Egyptian cat statue. I'm trying to remember if we got one last month. Maybe we didn't get one last month. Anyways. Oh, no. So we got a little book of shadow artwork for it's all about gnomes. Oh wow, this is really neat. I love this. So it's the one thing that really attracted me to this box was the artwork for the book of shadows. I love these. Oh, I love Gaia. I've worked with Gaia before. Look at her, isn't that beautiful? Gaia. Beautiful. The power of Gaia. Yes. Love it. All right, guys. So we're going to dig in. This is what it looks like. All this lovely stuff. So earthy bounty. So this looks like our tea. So the majority of the time I actually, like my son was saying in my previous box um, yesterday, I don't tear these off. Um, just with work, um, like I'm a full-time cashier. So my nails always end up somehow cracking somewhere or whatever. So sometimes my thumbnails are really, really short. And I can't get them open when this is torn down so low. So I always try to keep it on. So let's give this a smell. Oh, I definitely smell chamomile in here. And rose. So that's what the tea looks like. Just a nice floral tea. And as I said, um, I have my hot water. And I got my little strainer here for my tea. So I've seen a few people in a couple of um, unboxings that I've watched. And they have these really neat straws. I was actually talking to my daughter about it this morning. Um, it's a metal straw. And then it's kind of flat on the bottom. And it looks like a little strainer. Um, but basically, it's for herbal teas. And that way you just kind of let the leaves 
you know, and the herbs and the flowers and stuff like that float around in the water and you just drink it through the straw. If any of you guys know what the name of those straws are, please comment down below. And if there's like a website, click the website for me because I would really love to get one. Just like, especially for work, like sometimes it's a pain in the bum to like, well, obviously I don't bring these. I have like um, tea bags that I buy from uh, David's Tea. Um, and I use those and then that way I can just toss the tea out, the tea bag out. Um, so guys, I like to use, um, organic, um, raw creamed honey. So I'm just going to get my tea together. So I like using um, organic. I try to use organic as much as possible. Um, I like to use the raw unpasteurized honey. Um, there's a lot of health benefits for you. If I feel a, a little bit of a cold coming on, I'll actually take a tablespoon of it. And it um, actually really, really helps my throat. All right, tea. try this tea we'll let it simmer a bit so there's our tea and like I said in the other two boxes you always get these little reusable muslin bags um I don't actually really open it to see how big they are oh they're pretty big so it's literally a cloth almost like a cheesecloth maybe a little bit thicker than a cheesecloth um like more sturdier than a cheesecloth um, so essentially you would just empty it in the garbage and then you would rinse out and wash out your bag kind of thing. Um, I don't use them for my tea. I actually use them, um, for spell work. So I'll, uh, use them for like, um, little sleep pillows and, you know, things like that. So, um, you can even use them for, um, like bath teas. You know, you put your Epsom salts and your herbs and stuff in there and put it in the bathtub and soak away. All right, guys. And it looks like we got some juniper berries. It's our, one of our herbs for today. I should say for this month. White oak bark. Hmm. I've never worked with this, so let's check this out. Oh. That's a very nice smell, almost like a musky smell. I really like that. I can't wait to find out what you would use that for. So there's our second herb. Alrighty. Ooh, it looks like we got a smudge stick. It's not sage, obviously. Almost smells like lavender. It's definitely has like a florally smell. Mmm. Oh, I can't wait to use that. Oh, my apologies, guys. I didn't even show you. So there's our sponge stick. So I grow lavender, and it really looks like um, the lavender leaves. Like, not the actual, like, purple flowers of it, because you guys realize there's a bunch of different kinds of lavender, right? So this looks like... Um, like the green kind of leafy part of the lavender, if you understand what I'm saying. Mm. I have to hide that for my daughter. <laughs> Ooh, I see a bath salt here. Astara sacred salt. Oh, 
yes because the star is i like that they sent it this month so like i usually tend to not get my boxes till closer to the ending of the month so like if this would have been like an astara box um well actually it, i would have gotten it like literally just in time um but it, it it varies it's usually between like you know between the 15th and like the 23rd 24th of the month is usually by the time i actually receive my box Man, I wish there was such a thing as smell a vision. <sighs> it just smells like spring. So there's the bath salts, guys. Like, look at all of those beautiful herbs, roses. I also smell, it also has like a citrusy smell to it. I wonder if there's like um maybe like a an orange essential oil or something in there or like some dried oranges or something but I definitely have like a bit of a citrusy smell in there. Guys, I'm just going to stir my tea. Oh, I'm excited. needs to steep for a little bit longer but mm. definitely taste the chamomile there's definitely chamomile in that tea I love chamomile the rose maybe calendula or calendula I never know which way how to say it. One side of people say calendula flower, and then another people say calendula. Mm. It actually feels really nice. <clears throat> It'll be nice on my belly too, because you know, all you girls out there know what I'm talking about, lady issues. Love it. Oh my God. What is this? So we have a green sachet. I really, I'm really, really liking the colors of this box. It's very earthy. Just, you know, the, the brown, like beige noodles, the paper, the green sachets. I really like this color. I'm really excited. What is this? Oh, it's tied with a rubber band. Here we go, guys. There's something shaking in there. Okay, so maybe we'll just open it over the sachet in my altar. It's cracked, so I'm assuming we're supposed to take this rubber band off. Good Lord, I hope we're supposed to. It looks like a geode. I have a couple here. I have one like this. Oh my God. Oh, it's so beautiful, guys. I don't know if you guys can even pick up the sparkle. Like, just look at that sparkle. Shining like a diamond. <laughs> Beautiful. Okay, Witch's Moon. I I love this. I love how they did that. Of course, now I can't find the rubber band. <laughs> oh, there it is. I have to find get this because... So not only do I have a house full of humans... I also have a house full of animals. 
I have two dogs, not small dogs, large dogs. One of them is a human. He's like 125 pounds. Um, he's half King Shepherd, half Rottweiler. Beautiful dog. Probably not the smartest, but beautiful dog. I'm just getting my X Men book. All right, Papa. And then I have, which that's my husband's dog. And then I have my pup. She's not a pup, but I mean, my dog. She is a purebred blue nose pit bull. She's about 70 pounds. Who's lying here with me? She does not leave my side. And then I have two cats. I have two cats that um, are not small cats either. They're, they're quite large. Um, they're sisters that they're like a gray stripe, like gray and black striped tabby. Um, both named after goddesses, uh, Athena and Calypso. So, yes. Anyways, they like to eat elastics. So that's why I was trying to find the elastic guys. So it looks like we got a bubble wrap. Which we always get, um, well, so far, like, this is my third box. An oil of some kind or, like, an oil and a spray from what I've seen in previous boxes. Um, I know, um, I think it was my very first box, the December box, the oil had actually leaked. Um, last month, the oil was good. It didn't leak. So, let's see. I can always tell by the plastic. Nope. This one did not leak, and I will hold that down. Earth Mother Ritual Anointing Oil. Oh, look at, I don't know if you guys can see the herbies in there. Look at all those herbs. I'm trying to see if you guys can see it. Oh, wow. Try and shake it up a bit. Oh, there's a crystal in here because I can hear it kind of tinkering around. There we go. Can you guys see the Herbies? A little bit, eh? If you hear snoring in the background, I apologize. That's my dog. She's She sleeps like a human. Mmm, there's definitely rose in here. Jasmine? I think it's jasmine, or both. It's either rose or jasmine in there. Or possibly both. Mmm, that smells amazing. So I'm just going to shift here. Mm. Alrighty. What else is here? Oh. And we got our incense. Forest floors. We got our incense. I believe it's like eight that we get. Ooh. These smell really nice. Literally like the forest, like the floor of the forest. Mmm, very earthy smelling. Let's see how many it was again. Um. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, eight. So they, it's eight that they send us. And I like, um, I like that they send it in its own bag um, with the label on it. I've seen some others where it's just kind of tied with twine and stuff. All of my incense is together. I have it in... Um, like a rubber made container here. It's about that big. Like that. I bought it at work. 
um it was like i think a package of six so i have like all my witchy stuff and i have like candles my spell work so any spells that come in my any of my witchy box uh witchy subscription box boxes i put them in there i have a few in there as i had said yesterday i wanted to try and start doing um the spells with you guys um so all my incense is in one hence why my husband was looking for incense um they shop at mom's incense store because I have a lot. I burn a lot of incense. My son likes to burn incense in his room when I'm up here, when he's reading in his room. If I'm up here, he'll come and ask me if he can burn some. And then I have my daughters that always come up and then my husband. So I have to make sure I have a lot. I love this. I'm trying to keep the big stuff for like the main item for last and I can kind of already see what one of the main item is and I'm trying really hard because I want to open it but no I want to open the other stuff first so this is our candle you always get a beautifully hand rolled usually um anointed sometimes dressed um beeswax candle I love beeswax candles um, I actually used to make these box candles years and years ago with my girls when I was at home with them. It was kind of like one of the crafts that we would do. I did a lot of crafts with my daughters. So we used to do the beeswax candles. Mm. So we have a brown candle, obviously fitting because of the theme of the box. Bound by soil, I believe so nice brown um i'm pretty sure i've showed in my previous boxes um the one thing i like about beeswax candles is you can soften it a bit um and unroll it very gently so you don't crack it so you can unroll it a bit see how it's kind of unrolled and then you can put your oils in here so like you can use some of the um, earth mother oil, anoint your candle inside. Um, you can put some corresponding herbs that you want to work with, you know, like uh, lavender, or roses, or chamomile, like, you know, whatever. And then just roll it back up. Um, and you, you, like, you can use a hair dryer to soften the wax a bit. You know, like if it comes to you and it's like really, really, really stiff and you can't unroll it because it's going to crack. Just use a hair dryer a little bit to soften it so that you can unroll it enough that you can anoint and dress your candle. Um, but yeah, with the beeswax sheets like this, you can do it inside. Um, I'll try and, well, not try. I do, it is one of the, um, the episodes that I want to do on my channel is, is uh, making candles. So, uh, which, uh, well, sorry dressing candles um and i mean we'll do both we'll do beeswax and then uh we'll do the other ones so that's our candle i'm just kind of resting everything here all right guys it looks like we have two more items left which is our main items so we have this beautiful earthy brown sachet with what looks like either a tarot or an oracle deck. I'm excited. All right. I have no nails, so. I uh, definitely am not lucky in that way. My nails don't really, I mean, they grow, but they grow and then they kind of split or peel. So. All right, guys, so I'm just going to open these. And, oh, wow, these are pretty. Oh, they're like herb, like different herbs. So I'll do just like a quick.
courage, borge, courage. So it gives the name of the herb, like burdock, and then it's like, um, I guess like Latin term. And then what it means, tenacity. So I'll show you guys a few more. So maybe later um, today, I'll do like a little kind of review of the cards and do like an actual like card for card. What are these? Are they not pretty? Oh, my older daughter is going to die for these because she's a green witch. So oh, I'm excited. I'm excited to work with these. So these look more like an oracle card. Alrighty. And our last item. Let's just get this out without getting these noodles everywhere. Perfect. I keep the noodles for my daughter who is in the process of starting her own um, Etsy shop. Beautiful big green sachet, hardcover book, like nice hardcover book. Oh, I really love this. Hedge Witches Field Guide, CeeLo Thompson. May nature's wisdom forever be heard, whispering and guiding you on your path. Blessed be. Oh, it's actually, it was made for the witch's moon. So it's personalized. I love this. Oh, wow. So it's actually in color. Like the pictures to match the cards are all in color. Oh, and it's got a little, a little bookmark to keep your place in the book. Wow. Introduction. How to use the cards. Yeah, these botanical cards can be used as an oracle deck or as flashcards with this book as a study guide. My hope is that the illustrations will help the user learn to identify these plants on site. So that's nice. Marshmallow. Oh, I love this. So yeah, so maybe um, after this video, I will do like a little, um, I guess like maybe not really an unboxing because I've already unboxed the cards, but just like a, a little tutorial, not tutorial. I'll actually like show the cards, like we'll go through each card, you know, one by one and, and then maybe do like a. A couple of little card pulls and then you know look up the meaning see what it says kind of thing um it looks like there's some recipes in here too guys uh rose hip and wild apple jelly rowan berry schnapps wow a few tea ingredients suggestions oh, i like this summer berry crumble so at the back of the book um if you guys do have this uh which is moon box or if you're still waiting for yours um there's recipes at the back of the book this is amazing i love 
this box. I have actually loved all of their boxes. So, let's see what they're saying here. Yeah, exclusive hardcover hedge, which is field guide with oracle cards. So they are oracle cards. Alrighty. We are truly honored to have the opportunity to create an exclusive and first hardcover copy of this field guide. As you open this book, to the first page, you will see a special intention from the witch's moon. May nature's wisdom forever be heard, uh, whispering and guiding you on your path. A beautiful hedge, hedge witch's field guide was created by CeeLo Thompson. I hope I'm pronouncing her name right. A self-taught visual artist who lives and works in Seattle, Washington. She uses multiple mediums and techniques in her work with a focus on draft, draftsmanship and narrative development. CeeLo is also the creator of the best-selling Line Strider Tarot. As stated within the beginning of this book, providing insight on how to use a study guide. When used as an oracle tool in your meditation or divination practice, the cards can stand alone or work in conjunction with other cardomancy tools. The book endeavors to help the curious learn about these essential plants and their historical application. This text discusses where to find the plants, what part of the plant is commonly used, and whether they are primarily edible or medicinal. We were so drawn to these, these oracle cards for their variety of use as well as the abundant amount of information found within the field guide. As with any new tarot or oracle deck that you begin to work with, we recommend taking your time to get to know this deck. Flip through each card, making your own first judgments and interpretations of the energies that, will, that they may carry with them. We always work towards intuitively determining what messages each card may be hiding. Once you have focused your intentions on the pressing realities in your world or simply asking a specific question, pick your card as you see fit, as this is a very intuitive practice. Be sure that you are truly focused on the process as to not be distracted by other outside energies. As you find the information within the field guide collecting, to your core relating to your card, read the description in full. You will easily be able to determine which message was meant for you. We always recommend keeping a record of important readings and any wisdom that you may have gained so that you are able to use these teachings and insights as future reference. This hardcover book and set of oracle cards shine a light on the true essence of connection of connecting with nature in ways that allow us to communicate with them, understand their energies, and retrieve valuable wisdom from their spirit. May you step into a new sense of awareness and understanding as you continue to incorporate the power of nature into your practice. I'm actually really excited for these cards. All right, and then we have the the Power of Gaia book of Shadows artwork, which was that right there, guys? I will, uh, oh yeah. So that's my little, my other little geo that I have here on my altar. All right. 
Um, we have partnered with a very talented local artist to create this exclusive piece of artwork honoring Gaia. The powerful and beautiful imagery included within this artwork resembles our connection to all living things. It's A.E. Alden. Um, I believe this person actually does all of their artwork so far that I've seen from the three boxes that I've got. Alrighty, and then we have the Gnome Book of Shadows artwork. This wonderful artwork was created to provide information on the gnomes, earthy element, elemental spirits known for being masters of masonry, healing and teaching, among many other magical attributes. So that's was the Book of Shadow for the gnomes. And then our hand rolled um, the sacred soil spell candle. So I was right. So this goes with the spell here. So essentially you would like this, um, maybe use some corresponding herbs and then you would do your incantation here, like your spell. And then you would just meditate on, you know, what the spell means to you and you know put your energies and manifestations into it Alrighty, so um we have hand rolled and anointed this candle with the intention of honoring gaia or the great mother earth as she provides us with an overwhelming number of blessings we, in turn, pay our respects and recognize these attributes through our practices. As we stand before the dancing flame, we focus our intentions on the knowledge gained by all natural elements and ask that we are aware enough to continually recognize them throughout our daily journeys. This is a time where you can speak freely ask for assistance during upcoming rituals, or simply to pay homage. Before you begin, be sure to create the energy that surrounds you and your altar. This can include cleaning, cleansing, and setting a tone. We always recommend being comfortable within your space so that you may create the most accurate and authentic energy. And then obviously always use caution when burning a candle. And then the the sacred scroll, wow, sacred soil candle spell book of shadows, which was this. All right, which we already went through. Earth mother magical anointing oil, which was this right here, guys. We have created this magical anointing oil with the intention of grounding you during times of chaos, challenge, or confusion. As you work with this special blend, visualize your energies drawing into the earth below you, grounding and unwavering. Feel a sense of calmness and safety as you blanketed, as you are blanketed by the warm embrace of earthy energies. Allow this oil to keep you grounded and calm as you work through anxiety and nervousness. As you anoint your skin or magical tools, verbally express your specific intentions for doing so. This practice will prove to enhance the opportunity for real manifestation to occur. We have enchanted this magical oil with green tea, jasmine, okay, I knew I smelled jasmine, cedar, which is the woodsy um, smell, and vetiver oils, and have included oak bark and jasmine buds as well. Inside your oil, you will find a Lemurian quartz said to personal, personify oneness within your aura. We have also included a special texture of our beneath the soil magical oil from our personal 
cabinet of witchery into the mixture of this oil. The base of this oil is sunflower oil. Some might be more sensitive than others when in contact with skin, external, obviously. Alrighty, um, juniper berry. Our juniper berry, doo, doo, doo. there's our juniper berry, guys. Perfect. Doo, doo, doo. I'm just gonna read the um okay so elemental association fire planetary connection sun magical abilities protection love health exorcism and then we have our white oak bark which is this here and Elemental Association, uh, Fire, Planetary Connection, Sun, Magical Abilities, Protection, Healing, and Good Luck. And then Earth, Bounty, Ritual, Herbal Tea with Muslin Bag. It's caffeine-free, guys. So anybody who may not um, be able to tolerate caffeine or, you know, cannot have caffeine, this one is caffeine-free. Mm, definitely chamomile in here. So let's see. A celebration of health and vitality. This earthy bounty tea was created with the intention of uplifting the spirit and grounding chaotic and confused, confused emotions. This ritual herbal tea has been created with chamomile. Told you. Rose petals. I did say rose. Um, oh, orange peel, oat straw, lemon balm, and lavender. And I did say lemon balm. But I do taste the oat straw now that it's steeped a lot more. Um, as you sip this refreshing blend before or after ritual, allow its energies to conjure emotions of hope and optimism. Use approximately one tablespoon of tea for eight ounces of water. Alrighty. Geode. Our beautiful sparkly little geode. This wonderful, nope, that's not it. <laughs> My apologies. Derived from the Greek word geodes or geides. Probably totally butchering that. I apologize, guys. Meaning earth like, the geode carries with it the wonders of earthy obsessions. The geode is one of the most recognizable stones and can commonly be found positioned around the home in any magical practitioner. It is expected to find crystals such as quartz, amethyst, and citrine hidden within the cavity of these wonderful stones. In addition to the geode's ability to heal and bring balance to the body, it provides almost instant stress relief, allowing you to relax and readjust. Whew. We definitely all need a lot of that. I know I do. I'm an essential worker, so I've been working with the public throughout this whole COVID-19 nonsense. And I'm over it. I'm so over it. Wearing a mask for eight and a half hours a day five days a week. I have sinus issues. Whew. Reeking havoc. I come out of the shower and I sound like a man until like, you know, everything kind of clears out, you know? It's insane. Oh, I was right. Dried lavender bundle. Oh, that smells amazing. This wonderful fragrant dried lavender bundle was created so that its cleansing smoke can waft throughout your sacred space. It is important that you burn this bundle with caution without leaving unattended. Simply light one end of the bundle, allowing the flame to burn for a few seconds, then blow it out and allow the smoke to rise. We have included this specific bundle within the collection to bring 
positive, protective, and harmonious energies into your environment. Allow the soothing qualities to assist you in fostering energies for ritual and meditation. So the one thing I will say, guys, um, I burn um, sage, sweetgrass, palo santo, uh, mugwort, um, cedar. I burn a lot of different um, uh, smudge sticks. Um, palo santo, you don't really have to worry about too, too much because once you kind of blow the wood out, it kind of dies down and goes. Um, I have my shell here that I use. I have one up here and I also have one downstairs in my living room. Um, when you light it, um, you have to be really careful because if you blow, little flecks of the smudge stick can actually fall off. And if they are hot enough, depending on the material it falls on, it can still cause a fire. Um, so for me, my personal advice is um, you can either have the shell like this. You can put a bit of sand inside, like you can buy the nice sand inside um, and kind of put it out. I don't have a sand in here just because I did have sand in my other one downstairs when I first, first got it. I have cats that like to wander and they knocked it over. I don't know how many times I cleaned, I had to clean up sand off my altar. So I just, I don't do the sand anymore. Um, I just, I push it down and I keep pushing it down until the flames go out. Um, sometimes if it's not really going out in the shell, I'll use my cauldron. So I'll put it in my cauldron and I'll, you know, cause this is cast iron and I'll kind of run it around um, a little more like rougher to kind of put it out. I wouldn't, uh, I wouldn't blow it out uh, personally. Like um, if you do, like I said, make sure you have a shell and just like really, really, really gentle to put the flame out. To, and then once you actually have the flame out, then, you know, kind of like smudge it out completely. Um, don't just blow it out. If you just blow it out and leave it, it'll actually still continue to burn and it'll get really, really, really smoky. You actually have to kind of smudge it out. Um, but yeah, that's just kind of my Timbit information. So, but I mean... You know, there's no right or wrong way. I just, I don't want to see anybody who's never, you know, had a smudge stick before. And, you know, this is their very first smudge stick, um, you know, and end up burning something down. So just a little safety, you know. Um, all righty. Uh, forest floors, ritual incense sticks, which is these here. As you allow the wonderful, refreshing, and fragrant scent from these incense sticks to drift throughout your sacred space, visualize yourself lying on the forest floor, surrounded by bounties of trees, herbs, and flowers. Allow yourself, oh, excuse me. Allow yourself to feel calm and vibrantly awake. So it doesn't really say what the scent is but i mean it's forest so it's it's gonna be like trees and stuff so actually you know what i'm gonna light one just to kind of actually get a a whiff of it because sometimes what it smells like um like just like this, and then when you actually light it, it can be completely different. I've I've had to give my older daughter, because my older daughter likes like really florally, you know, flowery kind of smell, um, smells. So, um, and I like them too, but sometimes they're a little overpowering for me, for my allergies and my sinuses. So she ends up with them. Because my 20-year-old, well, soon-to-be-20-year-old daughter, 
she's the same as me. She doesn't, a lot of those ones she doesn't like. Um, we're kind of like sensitive. So like sometimes they'll give me a headache and she's kind of the same. So. smells completely different when it's lit. I really like that. It's a very, mm, very earthy, literally the forest floor smell. Mm. And I like it. It's not too, too big at the bottom here, actually. I'll watch. My husband's going to come up and be like, oh, what were you burning? I really like the smell of that one. And this stick doesn't really want to go in. There we go. I will just rest that on top of my candle there. Mm, I really, really love the smell of that. I'm going to have to hide that one. <laughs> and then... Um, Astara Celebration Celebratory Sacred Salt, which was this with the beautiful flowers inside. And do, 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 do. I don't know why I've had the like Star Wars theme song stuck in my head for like three days. I have no idea why. I haven't watched the movie in a long time. A time of celebration, Astara represents the essence of spring, bringing rebirth and hope to the coming months. This time represents the coming of warmer weather and the promise of a new opportunity on the horizon. This sacred salt was created with the intention of bringing fresh energies into your energetic body. We have enchanted this sacred salt with sweet orange. See, told you, citrusine had like an orangey smell to it. Lemongrass and veta, veta vire. I know I'm completely butchering that, sorry. Oils, as well as rose, lemon balm, and lavender herbs, which I did see the lavender because I can smell it. I love lavender, so. We have also included a special mixture of our Astara Celebration Magical Oil from our personal cabinet of witchery and the making of the sacred salt. And then it explains, which I know I've said before in my other boxes, if, you know, for whatever reason, you're not able to get um, to have a bath and you, you only have a shower or you just don't, like some people don't like baths, you know, they don't like the idea of, you know, soaking in a bath, you know, they prefer a shower. So use your little muesli bag here that you would use for your tea. Um, you can use that. Pour some of the sacred salt in it, tie it on your shower head, and then let the water run through it. And then just stand under it, under the shower and the muesli bag with all of this lovely magical goodness and just kind of let it you know go over your body um you can also do a foot uh, a foot soak you know because our feet are you know the first connection to you know to the ground you know that grounds us you know it, it's that's our root chakra like that's the first you know it, it's like our our roots you know that's what roots us into the earth so i mean you can do like a, a ritual foot soak and you know soak your feet in it it would still have the same intention as to what it's meant for just a little fyi you know i like baths so i like i love doing bath rituals so and then we have our parchments paper like i was saying in the beginning they always send us a blank parchments paper 
and yep yeah, says we believe that writing down your intentions and goals pushes you further in accomplishing them we have added a piece of parchment for you to write down your intentions before your ritual so that you may add it to your own personal book of shadows and then as you perform your rituals do not set expectations cast your intentions and be of pure heart and mind these very personal moments are for you there is so much knowledge available to you take pleasure in knowing that you are in control of your future and the blessings that it holds open yourself to receive these beautiful gifts we send you protective and fearless energies as you walk on your path to enlightenment blessed be Alrighty, guys so that is the witch's moon box for february 2020 and if you guys um like the video um just hit the like and the subscribe and notification button down below so that way when i release new videos uh you guys will get notified that i uploaded a new video and i forgot our oracle card here guys um where is that i didn't even see that on here oh there it is because i skipped it personalized oracle reading we have meditated and selected a card from the Earth Power Oracle by Stacy DeMarco to place inside your box. This card and the symbols that are represented was meant for you. Take the time to reflect on the wisdom on the wisdom that it holds. Know that there is a specific reason you have received this card. Let it resonate with you and speak to the pressing realities in your world so that was the oracle card guys my apologies like i was saying if you liked my video hit the like and subscribe and notification buttons down below um so that way when i upload a new video and I, when i start doing my little kind of mini series for different things you guys will get notified that there's a new video up and um, I will put the um, Witch's Moon uh, down below as well. So if you guys are interested in subscribing to the subscri uh, Witch's subscription box, by all means, you definitely will not be disappointed. I love this box. Um, I actually love all of the boxes that I get. <laughs> so I only get three. So um i am still waiting for one more <laughs> from last month um there was a bit of mail delay so but all right this yeah february 2021 which is moon love it thank you guys hope you guys have a amazing magical day blessed be